Hey guys, this is Dean with Cowboy Trappings. Thanks for watching. So I've got something a little bit different for me today. I've, I'm going to do a knife review. I haven't done a knife review. This will be my first one. Besides being my first knife review, it's the first time I've ever owned a knife like the one I'm going to review. I've never even thought about owning a knife like this. Usually the knives I like to take around with me are bushcraft styles like LT Wright Genesis or a, a Mora. But this is not a bushcraft knife. So today's knife was suggested by a viewer named Eric. Eric wanted me to review the K-Bar Zombie Pestilence Chopper. It's a big knife. We're going to take a look at it. I don't know what to expect. So here it is. Here's the knife in question. This is the Pestilence Chopper by K-Bar. The overall length is 15.75 inches. The blade is 10.25. The blade thickness is 0.21. The material is SK5. It's got a flat grind. The handle length is 5.5. The material is GFN. And the weight of this bad boy is 16 ounces. It's got a unique, unique shape to say the least. It's definitely built to be a chopper. Of course, they're, uh, it's got the flag on it. I really like the flag. It's got the, uh, it's, it's being marketed as, as a zombie chopper, you know, whatever that means, whatever. So let's see if it'll chop something zombie-like. Not being a zombie expert, I couldn't think of anything to chop up besides a watermelon. So let's see if the old uh, chopper here can do a little damage on a watermelon before we get started with some actual tests we might use. Hey, look at that, it cut a watermelon up. I guess that's a good test for a chopper, I don't know. For a zombie chopper. Yeah, sure enough, cut that watermelon up. Okay, let's try some real tests. Some out in the woods kind of test. Okay, so here's an old piece of cottonwood that's deadened down. Let's see how it does with chopping some wood here. Not bad, I guess. So that's not too bad. And the edge still looks fine. Nothing going on there. So you can see it made some pretty decent cuts on this cottonwood. Didn't do too bad. And the edge was fairly sharp when I got it. Let's go chop some more stuff. So this is some green salt cedar is what we call it. I'm not sure what the real name is, but it's invasive as heck. So I don't mind chopping it all up with my zombie chopper. Hmm, I'm starting to like the zombie chopper. Didn't think I would. <laughs> let's go find something else. Gonna have fun. So let's try cutting some grass. It's not bad, huh? I don't know if zombies eat grass or not, but you cut some grass down, maybe they can't, like, have grass to eat or sleep in or... I don't know what zombies do with grass. So here's some little willow shoots. These are good for uh, putting down under a bedroll. Or just making little things out of willow. Let's see how it does with this. Beautiful. Look at that. Jeez. I'm digging it. Yeah, you can make a bed pretty quick with that. Look at that. Nice. I'm becoming a fan of the uh, K-Bar Zombie Chopper. Okay, so this is a little elm tree that's... It's not going to grow up to be anything but a bent-over tree. It's not going to make any good wood. It's growing next to a, 
a decent tree that if we cut this one down, it'll give this one next to it room to grow into some wood that we can use to burn. So we're gonna see if the old zombie chopper here can chop this elm, elm tree down. Well, I'm kind of impressed. I didn't think it would do it that easily. <laughs> this is kind of a neat little knife. The, uh, the blade still looks fine, the edge still looks fine. The finish is still fine. And the finish is a rough finish. It's like on the uh, charade, the older charade knives. But it's still fine, it hasn't started scratching or anything. Can't see anything on there at all. All right, let's go try and split some wood and do a little fire prep. See how the zombie chopper does at that. All right, so I got a piece of alligator juniper here. It's not the hardest wood in the world, but it's something that's realistic for around here that I might have to split to make smaller to make a fire with. doing too bad for a chopper. And it's kind of awkward to do shavings with, but it's, you know, it's not really built for shavings. Not bad, not bad for Juniper. Let's try some Walmart special fat wood here. Because fat wood around my part of the country is a little hard to find. Now, let's try the spine. I'm a little concerned about the spine. I don't think it's going to be too much of a 90 here. But, let's try it. Yep, I didn't think so. So, yeah, that's not much of a 90 on that spine right there. I don't think it will do a scrape of ferro rod even. But, let's try one. Like I said, don't hold your breath on this. It's not even scraping off the, <laughs> the coating, there we go.
There we go. There we go. The zombie chopper came through for us. All right. Nice. Well, there it is. There's the K-Bar Pestilence Chopper. I had my doubts, honestly, when I uh, when I picked this up. But I am I'm quite pleased with what it did. It chopped everything I asked it to. Everything that's realistic for a knife of this size. It uh, does feathers well. I mean, it's you know it's got a full flat, basically a wedge grind on it, but it did feathers okay. The uh, spine is not 90, yet I can get that to be a 90. A little bit more work and a vise. It's made in America. It doesn't show any signs at all of wear, other than where the operator filed on the, the spine of it. It showed up sharp, right out of the box. It cuts well. The finish has not been scarred, scratched, or marred after beating on it, chopping things down. The handle is, is, is a, it's a chopper handle. I mean, it's not very comfortable for feather sticks or carving tasks, but duh, that's not, a, that's not a carver, right? The handle does come with different colored skins that you can skin, they're black. So you can put some black skins on there if you want. The sheath, as I mentioned, is, is awesome. I like it, it's very well put together. Very good construction, would serve many years. You can pack it on the outside of a pack frame, you can wear it on your belt. It's very, very well put together. So all in all, I kind of like this knife. I didn't think I would, but I do. I guess that'll teach me, huh? Take it out, judge a knife by its use, I guess. So that's it. Comment below if you like it, let me know. If you like the video. Click on the like button. If you like what we do, click on the subscribe button. Stick around. We'll have some more videos coming out. So my name's Dean. This is Cowboy Trappings. Thanks for watching.